We got a wild one for you today. Uh, by now, you may have already heard about Amazon CEO and richest person in the world, Jeff Bezos' nude photo scandal. And there is so much more to this story than just focusing on potentially seeing Bezos' uh, member. But uh, let's start a bit further back. If you haven't heard about this latest development, uh, you, you probably watched one of our episodes of Weekly Weird News from earlier this year, where we did a creepy text theater-esque retelling of some sexts that uh, he had sent to a woman who he was having an affair with named Lauren Sanchez. Yeah, those texts were the result of a story published in the National Enquirer back on January 21st, just over a week after Bezos announced the divorce of him and his wife, Mackenzie Bezos. Uh, not sure if he knew the text would be released, and that's why they went ahead with the divorce before the text became public. Probably. But it seemed as though their relationship was essentially over well before this anyway. People were, he was going to events alone. It was it was a... Uh, An open secret. Yeah. Uh, regardless, the National Enquirer made those sexts public, and as a result of this, Bezos launched an investigation, led by an expert in the field that he'd known for 20 years to look into how the Enquirer had obtained those text messages and what their motive for releasing them was. Yeah. During the investigation, Bezos learned that the CEO of the National Enquirer and its parent company, America Media Incorporated, or AMI, as we'll be saying frequently. AMI. That's, uh, that guy's name's David Pecker. He'd become furious that Bezos was actively investigating his company. So how does this lead to the whole potential nude photo leak of Bezos, whose penis, we assume, looks just like him and wears aviator sunglasses? <laughs> Well, I don't even know if I could be able to mock that up in Photoshop, but I, I know I can, but I don't know if we can show it. No. Uh, well, as we said before, as weird as it is that we live in a time timeline where we might inadvertently see the CEO of Amazon's dick, what's really going on beneath the surface of all this is far more interesting than just some leaked nudes and now involves claims of blackmail and extortion. And it goes all the way to the top. So on Thursday of this week, Jeff Bezos posted an article to Medium.com, usually an apology website, but now an investigation website, where he laid out all of the information. Uh, he potentially confirmed the existence of his nude penis photos, and he detailed how he and his team found out that those penis photos may be used against him in retaliation for his investigation into the Inquirer. So we're going to be quoting a bunch of excerpts from that Medium article in here to explain what the hell's going on. Mm -hmm. A few days after they caught wind of David Pecker's anger about the investigation, Bezos and his team were, quote, approached verbally at first with an offer. Uh, they, referring to someone involved with AMI or the Inquirer, said they had more of his text messages and photos that they would publish if Bezos didn't do something pretty specific. So what did they want him to do? Well, okay, that requires more backstory as well. You're probably aware that Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post. And as he puts it in his Medium article, my ownership of the Washington Post is a complexifier for me. It's unavoidable that certain powerful people who experience Washington Post news coverage will wrongly conclude I am their enemy. He's referring, from what we can tell through his own article, that AMI, the Inquirer, and CEO David Pecker were pissed that the media, along with federal investigators, quote, suspected and proved that Mr. Pecker had used the Inquirer and AMI for political reasons, although they obviously reject that assertion. He also points to the fact that they could potentially be upset about the Washington Post coverage of the murder of its columnist, Jamal Khashoggi, and that might be because AMI had previously, months before the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, published a physical and digital magazine about Saudi Arabia that was, well, it painted a very good picture of Saudi Arabia and its crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. Great guy. There is, of course, also the fact that the National Enquirer was exposed for, and CEO Pecker later admitted to, its catch and kill tactics on stories, specifically one regarding President Trump, where the outlet paid for and then suppressed a story about Trump's affair with ex-playmate Karen McDougal. Basically, they bought the story from her and then kept it hidden so it wouldn't negatively affect his presidential campaign. That whole thing resulted in an agreement between AMI and the Southern District of New York that AMI wouldn't be charged for any crimes in exchange for cooperating with their investigation into the Trump organization unless, unless they, I don't know, commit more crimes. And we'll get back to that. So what did they want Bezos to do, damn it? Well, apparently they wanted him and his lead investigator to make a very specific false public statement to the press that they had no knowledge or basis for suggesting that AMI's coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces. Which would have looked suspicious as fuck. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, AMI? But anyway, now let's get back to the alleged threats made about publishing them nudes. Bezos and his team decided to not back down, and after some more time had passed, his lead investigator received the following email from an employee at American Media Inc. 
In the interest of expediating the situation, and with the Washington Post poised to publish unsubstantiated rumors of the National Enquirer's initial report, I wanted to describe to you the photos obtained during our news gathering. In addition to the below-the-belt selfie, otherwise colloquially known as a dick pic, the Enquirer obtained a further nine images. These include Mr. Bezos' face selfie at what appears to be a business meeting, Ms. Sanchez's response, a photograph of her smoking a cigar in what appears to be a simulated oral sex scene, a shirtless Mr. Bezos holding his phone in his left hand while wearing his wedding ring, he's wearing either tight black cargo pants or shorts, and his semi-erect manhood is penetrating the zipper of said garment, a full-length body selfie of Mr. Bezos wearing just a pair of tight black boxer briefs or trunks with his phone in his left hand while wearing his wedding ring, a selfie of Mr. Bezos fully clothed, a full-length scantily clad body shot with short trunks, a naked selfie in a bathroom while wearing his wedding ring, Mr. Bezos is wearing nothing but a white towel, and the top of his pubic region can be seen. Miss Sanchez wearing a plunging red neckline dress revealing her cleavage and a glimpse of her nether region. Miss Sanchez wearing a two-piece red bikini with gold detail dress revealing her cleavage. It would give no editor pleasure to send this email. I hope common sense can prevail, and quickly. So a lot of that's, those sound pretty that's innocuous. That's uh, blackmail. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's you blackmail. said it, not me. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see these pictures. Je Look, we got like a couple shots from long distance of Jeff Bezos walking around with his fucking guns out. Sun's out, guns out. And everyone was like, damn, Jeff Bezos used to be a scrawny little nerd. Now he's fucking hulked out. But that's all we've seen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would just like to see his progress pics. I don't need to see his dick. Just want to see the Jeff Bezos. I want to see his transformation. I'm sure... I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate it. I don't think a lot of people would like seeing this. No, anyway. you're probably right. Anyway, this was sent as a way to validate what the Enquirer had in its possession and was prepared to publish if they didn't make the claim about AMI's coverage of him not being politically motivated or influenced by political forces. A basis added to this saying, if we do not agree to affirmatively publicize that specific lie, they say they'll publish the photos and quickly. He also adds that there's an associated threat. They'll keep the photos on hand and publish them in the future if we ever deviate from that lie. All of his team's correspondence with the people at AMI is posted in full over on his Medium post, and there's uh, definitely a full email laying out the request, which details their compromise with not publishing the photos. But, guys, this is fucking Jeff Bezos we're talking about here. Yeah. You're, you're trying to blackmail the man with the most money. Yeah. He's the richest man on Earth. How could he be bullied, extorted, and blackmailed? When did you think about this? And no, he apparently isn't about to let that happen, which is why all of this came into the public eye yesterday when he published his article. He's literally standing up to their bullying and potentially uh, their potentially illegal actions, sound pretty illegal to me, by getting out ahead of this and laying everything out in public. Uh, he writes that the initial email detailing the photos that they had in their position uh, definitely got his attention, and he adds the following. Any personal embarrassment AMI could cause me takes a back seat because there's a much more important matter involved here. If in my position, I can't stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can? Probably zero, Jeff. On that point, numerous people have contacted our investigation team about their similar experiences with AMI and how they needed to capitulate because, for example, their livelihoods were at stake. And before ending his post with the previously mentioned receipts, he states this bluntly. Of course, I don't want personal photos published, but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. Is the log his dick? <laughs> Makes it sound that way after everything, <laughs> but I'll roll this log over. Uh, yeah, so Jeff's not backing down, and it seems like he's more determined than ever to get to the bottom of AMI. Great job, guys. Yeah. You kicked a, <laughs> a hornet's nest. <laughs> you kicked a hornet's nest. Yeah. Real smart. We saw a lot of people online using a quote that sums this whole thing up pretty well, citing one of cinema's most iconic superhero films, The Dark Knight, and its character, Lucius Fox, played by Morgan Freeman, who said to someone with, someone came to him with information about the identity of Batman. Here's what Lucius said to them. Well, let me get this straight. You think that your client, one of the wealthiest and most powerful men in the world, is secretly a vigilante who spends his nights beating criminals to a pulp with his bare hands, and your plan is to blackmail this person? Obviously, Jeff Bezos isn't a vigilante crime fighter. In fact, he's mostly a terrible person, but it does appear like he's looking to legally beat the fuck out of Pecker. And you know what? It's like one of those comics where Batman and Lex Luthor team up to fight Darkseid or something. That's probably happened. I don't know. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Uh, Lex Luthor, he, he joins the good guys every once in a while. And 
welcome aboard, Jeff. And and you, what you said is true. Jeff Bezos is historically proven himself to not be the nicest person in the world. No, he's a bad person. He's certainly the richest person, but he's not a nice <laughs> I, person I by any. Absolutely not a fan of Jeff Bezos. But in this situation, in this he situation, is absolutely in the right. Yes. So anyways, after this post, other outlets have indeed come forward and made similar claims that their reporters had received blackmail threats from AMI. Didn't Ronan Farrow confirm this? Yes, and uh, someone from AP confirmed that uh, people within their organization, just the AP, who is pretty... They literally just report facts. Y yeah, <laughs> uh, were apparently threatened. Uh, oh, and no, sorry, sorry. Back to that whole agreement that AMI had with the Southern District of New York regarding its investigation of the Trump Organization and, and how we said that that agreement was only good if AMI didn't commit any crimes. Uh-oh. Well, if what Bezos and his team have just put out is all true, it looks like AMI might have pulled a big oopsie and committed several crimes, which would then nullify that agreement and force the Southern District to prosecute AMI but such prosecution would allow AMI to cease cooperation with them. Hmm. So maybe that's what they want. It's The whole thing is very confusing. Yeah. And for their part, AMI is now saying that they will be investigating the claims of extortion and quote, take whatever appropriate action is necessary against Bezos. One of our reporters committing blackmail? We'll have One to... of our no, I respected think inquirer reporters? They're investigating the claims of extortion to be like, they're trying to prove it's absolutely not blackmail and extortion. Uh, so I, it's here at the National Enquirer, we, we run a tight ethical ship. There's a lot of these uh, accusations are whoo. There's a lot of like when you're waiting for stories to develop and find out new information and see where these things go. There's a lot of those stories these days. But this one just popping up on the map right right smack dab popping yesterday. Popping up like a big old Bezos dick just out of nowhere. It, it's like, I cannot wait to see how this plays out. I thought you were going to say, I can't wait to see that dick. No. So there you go. The Bezos nude photo drama <laughs> completely spelled out based on all the information provided. Uh, there's a bit more to dig into here, specifically regarding the very public feud between Donald Trump and Jeff Bozo, as he calls him. <laughs> and the potential Saudi ties with AMI. Woo. Uh, there's not enough time for that, so we'll leave some yeah, links. He said, uh, yeah, one thing, you know, like the, the question, uh, an unanswered question is how the contents of Jeff Bezos' phone ended up at the National Enquirer. There's, uh, there's, some, there's, there's some people are saying. Yeah, there's an implication that this involved uh, like governments, maybe ours, maybe a certain oil rich Middle Eastern government uh, basically using their <laughs> intelligence spying powers to do it, it. There's a lot. It's it gets it gets thorny. Yeah. So I'm excited. There's also, you know, Donald Trump invited. He says this in the Medium article of Donald Trump invited uh, Pecker to the White House. And uh, oops, someone just happened to bring someone very important to the Saudi government to the same meeting. There's a lot to read into it. It happens. Uh, and you can enjoy all that. I'll leave, we'll leave some links in the description below. Either way, in regards to this whole mess, there's a couple good things here. This company bullied a dude who basically can't and won't be bullied. And outside of Elliot, we can't really think of anyone who would want to see Jeff Bezos' dick anyway. So it's kind of a win-win. It's win -win. not that I want to see it. It's just that like, now that I know it's out there, yeah, I'm a little bit curious. Don't put me in front of a buffet and tell me not to eat. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, win-win for Jeff Bezos. Like, someone who is not a good person <laughs> gets a win. And hey, that's fine. We're cheering him on for this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm on Team Jeff this time. Yeah. Never thought I'd be, but in this specific case, go Jeff. You see, Elon, you can win us back. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see your dick, Elon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you want to support us, head over to our Patreon, links below, or click the join button below the video. Watch our latest episodes. We have a brand new episode of Weekly Weird News, which involves uh, someone wrestling a, a cougar to death mm -hmm. and uh, a whole lot of blackface. Mm. Uh, and also uh, check out our opinions of that Apex Legends game, which came out of nowhere, just like this story. And another yeah. thing, we're excited to see how it plays out, although there's no nakeds in there. Not yet. yet. A, lot of, a lot of gays, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm here for it. I stand those characters. <laughs> Check those episodes out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.